to our feet as we get ready to close. Your Holy Spirit may be active. 
activated amongst us that you may seal some people in this room to raise them up as men and women of God that the hearts that are lifting up their voices that you may equip them that you may prepare them Lord prepare me Lord prepare me Lord equip me Lord breathe on me breathe on me let your word dwell in me richly let's God ask God let your word dwell in me richly let your word consume me let your word be like breath in me let me be inspired let my words be inspired let my words not be foul speech let my words not be corrupted but let the words that come out of my mouth let the words that come out of my mouth let them be inspired. Let the word of God be breathed into us today. Let us consume it. Let we, when we read it, let it inspire us. And let God prepare us. Prepare this church. Prepare this generation. Prepare a young woman. Prepare a young man. Prepare somebody who's lost. Prepare somebody who's far. Prepare somebody who's broken. And restore them, Lord God. Restore them and allow them to become, to be complete, to be equipped. Right now, Lord God, I pray that the hearts that are hungry, that the hearts that are thirsty, that the hearts that want you, that right now you may equip them with abilities to serve you. Right now, correct us where we need to be corrected. I pray that you may restore us to what is right. Lord God, don't just show us what is wrong, but help us to do what is right. Today, Father, I pray that you may inspire somebody to go home and do what is right. Today, Father, I'm asking that you may inspire a young woman, a young man, a youth, a young adult, an elder, Lord God, to go home and do what is right. Give us the ability, Lord God, to be servants of God. Let us be equipped right now. Some of us, we want to serve, Lord God. We want to, Lord God. We like the idea of it. But right now, we need power. We need the breath of the Holy Spirit. We need to be equipped. Right now, Lord God, I ask that you may open up your tool bag and that you may deposit, deposit. Let heaven deposit in this room right now. Tools, Lord God, may your heaven, the gifts be opened. Let the treasures of heaven be opened and pour out a blessing on somebody today, Lord God. Let them be equipped. Let them be transformed. Let them be become a man of God. Let us see women of God that are speaking inspired words. Let us see a youth, a man of God, and on the journey, Yesterday is gone. Yesterday's news was yesterday's news. Yesterday's trouble was yesterday's trouble. But today, Lord God, you said if we can hear your voice and harden not our hearts, that you would speak to us. Today, Father, hear the hearts in this room. Equip us, equip us, Holy Father, equip us in the name of Jesus. You said you would not leave us to be orphans, but that you would be with us like Father. Father, before you left the disciples, you told them to stay. You told them to stay until they received power. Father, right now, as we stay up connected to your word, May somebody today receive power. May somebody go home with strength. May somebody go home encouraged. May somebody, Lord God, be trained up, Lord God. They may not be where they should be, but train them, Lord God. Train them, Lord God. Train us up, Lord God. Protect us, Lord God. Protect us, Lord God. Protect us, Lord God. May this church become full of men of God. May this church become full 
of women of God, with people who will stand in this generation on the inspired truth that I believe in the word of God. I believe in the Father. I believe in the Son. I believe in the Spirit. I believe in the Trinity. I believe in the union. I believe in the power of God. I believe in the gifts. I believe in the works. I believe, Lord God. Let that testimony, Lord God, become one with our church. Equip us as men and women of God. Forgive us of the past. Today, Lord God, is a new day. I have in passing, Jodia, to choose Kavini Nouvel. Any man be in Christ. He is becoming a new creation. Old is passing away. Behold, new has come. May the Lord give you new today. Que bon Dieu bénisse avec des choses nouvelles. Que bon Dieu restaure et équipe pour devenir un homme de Dieu. Ton courage. Serve God and let us stand on the inspired word and dwell with him. Amen. 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 Give God a round of applause. Be thankful to God. Whenever you ask, always be thankful. Even at home, my children ask and I say, be thankful. So let us be thankful in this moment for what God the Father is doing to the Son by the power of the Holy Spirit. Give God a praise. Father, I thank you. You are a seal for Dieu. You do mercy. You do ça à faire. Et pour tout tout ça à continuer faire. And so thank you guys for coming again. May the Lord keep you. Thank you for any first time visitors. Si vous êtes là pour la première fois, nous allons faire reconnaissance à vous immédiatement après ce service. So immediately after the service, if this is your first time, just meet with us in the back room so we can get to know you just a little bit better and stay in contact. Um, those announcements were made, so be vigilant for that. Next Friday, we have an all-nighter. We're going to be here from 7 to 12 noon the next day. So come ready, bring your pillow. No, don't bring a pillow. <laughs> bring some sheets. Bring an attitude of prayer. And this is not a government thing. I'm speaking to the youth. This is not a government thing. This is a church thing. Come, pray. Lay yourself on God. Pray on the word. Fast. If you're going to fast, if you're going to spend hours in prayer, just do that. Serve God and serve God together. On Sunday, bonjour, ensemble. And nous connaissons que soldats de Christ n'ont une conférence à Dieu, l'Ika Vini, le 5 octobre, ou 8 octobre, c'était ennemi pour 9 et demi. So, without further ado, let us receive the benediction and whatever further communication will be needed, they will be on, on our different platforms. So, let's stay connected. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon each and every one of you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift the countenance of his face and give you his peace. Et maintenant que la paix, la grâce, la douce communion de notre Seigneur et Sauveur Jésus-Christ reste et demeure avec chacun de vous dès maintenant et à jamais. Allez en paix et que Dieu vous bénisse.